recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption. Graciously bless this water, for you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received, and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me and the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
the scene in today's gospel takes place immediately after Cleopas and his partner returned to Jerusalem from their journey to Emmaus. And as the disciples themselves were trying to unpack and understand what they were experiencing. Consistently in the reports of Jesus' post-resurrection appearances, Jesus greets his disciples with the words, peace be with you, repeating it in many of the scenes, peace be with you. And to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost, he eats a meal with them. There's something about sharing a meal that has profound significance, particularly in the Gospel of Luke. Food is like a, a character in the play. Consider all the times that Jesus was attending banquets and dinners and meals, feeding 5,000 people, his final supper, and not ending there as we see today, even after the resurrection, taking food is important. And every time Jesus is at a meal, he uses it as a teachable moment, often as a way of breaking through stereotypes or prejudices or unjust relationships. Meals are an opportunity to not simply feed our bodies, but our souls also. A meal can be a life-changing event if we are open. After Jesus' meal, he opens their minds to the scripture. Boy, wouldn't you like to have that? What a wonderful gift that is. Their minds were open. We can have that. Food is a vehicle that can lead to transformation Jesus eats not simply to prove that he's not a ghost, but to open their minds, like he did in the breaking of the bread. The Norbertines have an expression. We uh, are fed at two tables. Have you heard that yet, Garrett? Can you say no? Okay, well, I'm telling you now. There'll be a quiz next week. <laughs> we dine at two tables. We dine at the table of the Lord, and then we go to the dinner table. That's where communio happens here and around our dinner tables and around your dinner tables. You're fed at two tables. Both are vital, both necessary for growing together in heart and minds and for our minds to be open. As we continue our Easter celebrations, may our encounter with the risen Christ open our minds and reconcile us with each other and God that repentance for the forgiveness of your sins will be preached in the name of Jesus to all the nations, and you are witnesses of these things. <laughs>